In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about using interception devices and reducing the amount of pesticide that you use to control bed bug infestations where 10 bugs or less are present. to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about some new research that was recently published out of Rutgers University, and more specifically part of Richard Cooper's PhD work, um, that talked about using interception devices to potentially treat, control, and or eliminate small bed bug infestations, so 10 bugs or less. And so, Interception devices, for those that aren't familiar, are what I have here in my hand. This is a blackout bed bug detector. This is a Sensei Volcano bed bug monitor. Um, and then in the study that I'm going to talk about, they use climb up insect interceptors. And what these do is they catch bugs as they move around. And so these you can put under the leg of a better couch and they will catch bugs as they're trying to go to the better couch. These you can put next to a leg or around the perimeter of a room and corners or along baseboards. And the bugs will actually just walk up and fall in these. And the volcano has a lure associated with it, which is called active, um, which will also increase the chance the bugs go into the monitor. And so in this study, what they did is they used interception devices, and they put them out not just under legs of beds and couches, but also around the perimeter of a room, and they did so in infestations of 10 bugs or less. And what they found was that when they did that, over the course of two months, 60% of those infestations continued to zero, or were eliminated and controlled. And that was just through the use of these interception devices. And so obviously very eye-opening results where, you know, you can look at this and say, wow, I did nothing other than put monitors out and got rid of the bugs. Now, in a study uh, as part of this, the control, they didn't do anything. And so what they did is they identified 10 bugs or less and they didn't put any monitors out. And they found that only two of those infestations continued to zero. And so you can see that there was a significant increase of the infestations continuing to zero when you used interception devices. Now, in no way, shape, or form am I suggesting or telling people to only treat bed bug infestations with just interception devices. Obviously, you're going to want to think about using pesticides and encasements for the bed and, and other control tactics, but it shows you how significant of an impact these devices can have. You know, you can put some of them under the legs or next to the legs, you can put volcano in the corners of rooms, whatever the case may be, and as those bugs are moving around, they're walking up and falling in and they're trapped. Now the important point is, is that when there's only 10 bugs or less there, they're very unstable. You may only have to pick up one or two bugs and kill one or two bugs and then the infestation collapses because there's not a reproducing population or whatever the case may be. What it's also doing is it's suggesting that we could potentially reduce the amount of pesticides that we're actually applying through the use of interception devices. And obviously whenever we can reduce pesticide, that's always a good thing. And so, again, in the study, they basically put out interception devices and found in this study that within two months of putting those devices out in infestations of 10 bugs or less, 60% of them continued to zero. Uh, really, really interesting stuff, really good tools to potentially consider, not just as monitors, but also as part of a treatment program. And that's the important point here, is that everybody looks at these and thinks, okay, monitors are going to help me detect if a problem is there. Yes, that's true, but you can also use them as part of a treatment program. And you put them in place under the legs of beds and couches or out in the corners or under the bed. You dump them in the toilet when you catch bugs, and it's helping you control that infestation. If you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.